Wow. So it's been a long time, and I already know what time it is when it comes to the Pure Heat Festival. Right on. It's always an ocean of people that just gather together. Everybody's having a good time. Talk to the people about what, what can we expect this year. Sure. So what you should expect this year with the 10th annual <laughs> Pure Heat Community Festival taking place during the 26th year of Atlanta Black Pride Weekend uh, is a, a sea of safety and a sea of fun at the same time. So uh, what we're focusing on this year, uh, every year we have a focus this year, we're shifting our focus a little bit to the LGBTQ youth. Uh, we're going to create a safe space for those guys this year uh, on the same festival grounds, but maybe on the other side of the park, uh, adjacent to the pool area. So they'll have their own DJ, their own setup, their own set of vendors, uh, their own entertainment. They're gonna have a little kiki ball over there. And then of course on the main stage, we're gonna do our traditional uh, JSET competition. Uh, we're actually honoring Can Candy Bears this year, um, which is an Atlanta favorite. And then of course, Jocelyn Hernandez uh, will be honored as well and she'll be performing live, um, which is another Atlanta favorite. So we're really, really, really excited about those guys. Um, we have about uh, 30 other uh, LGBTQIA artists that will be performing as well. Uh, a few Grammy Award winning artists that will be there. Um, you know, we always have our uh, surprise celebrity guests that come through also. Um, and then thousands and thousands and thousands of people uh, there to enjoy it. Awesome, awesome. So you always receive great support throughout the community, throughout just the whole entertainment industry in itself. You know, being that this is your 10th year uh, celebrating um, the pure heat, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, how does that make you feel that you have reached this milestone in such a you know epic event? Yeah, right on. So um, it, it feels amazing to be at year 10 uh, doing this enormous fest festival. I remember the first year uh, that we actually started this, uh, it wasn't really a festival, we were just giving out free water uh, and we were like, oh, let's just throw a DJ in the park and give out some water, it'll be fine, and 10,000 people showed up. And we only had like 1,000 water, so <laughs> we realized at that point it was time to actually organize this and put some structure to it. Um, you know, and that's what we did. Uh, you know, we took it by the, by the, by the helm there and uh, we went really hard, we worked really, really hard all year, all year long. Uh, to produce this particular event, but we also produce a lot of other events throughout the year as well. Um, we uh, work with the GED, with a GED program with the Vision Community Foundation. Um, obviously, we uh, feed the homeless every Tuesday. Uh, then we also, like as of late, have been working with the LGBTQ youth. We just did a youth festival a few weeks back. We're going to do another event uh, leading into the holidays, probably between Thanksgiving uh, and Christmas. We'll do our usual turkey giveaways. We'll all have toys this year for the kids. Uh, so we have quite a few events and we're looking to get into uh, taking the kids on just some trips, showing them some things that uh, they don't get to see in their everyday environment, and opening their minds up a little bit. Okay. Well, again, you always doing, you know, some great things in the community and, you know, definitely keep up the good work. Like I say, you know, we go back way back in the day, you know, and I just, you know, seeing the growth and the, you know, what you've been doing in the community and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yes. So, you know, definitely kudos to you on that. Now again, we are in the historical establishment, um, my sister's room. Um, now what is gonna be taking place here? Right, so um, this, this particular space is, is the legendary, uh, one of the very, very few uh, lesbian bars left in the actual, in the whole country, um, my sister's room. This is going to be uh, the actual uh, kickoff event for the Atlanta Black Pride weekend. Um, right before this, we'll do an event with the mayor, uh, can't tell the location. We're doing an event with the mayor uh, earlier that day, which will be the uh, welcome reception for Atlanta Black Pride Weekend. And then after that, the after party will be right here at the legendary My Sister's Room. Uh, we'll start here around nine o'clock. Uh, we'll open all three floors. Uh, we have a upstairs area where we'll do our weekly R&B. Down here, we'll do our hip hop, our top 40 in house. And then of course, we have our huge patio outside now. So yep. So obviously, you know, we have the space right here. Um, so this is like twice the size of the last space. And here. So this is actually what we're kick off the uh, Atlanta Pro Black Pride weekend. Uh, we'll have Army Thursday up here. Down here we'll do a little hip hop top 40. And then of course the patio is open as well. We can take a look out there. They're doing a little painting out there right now to get us ready for tonight, but we can look out there if you want to. Okay. Put a little painting out here, but you can get the gist of it. Uh, got the little area over here. Don't Cedric. <laughs> just a little painting. And then we're right around the corner from the, uh, the original location. So we're like a few hundred feet. So yeah. Perfect. All right. So again, you know, 
the 10th anniversary of the Peoria Community Festival this year. But we have events that start on Wednesday all the way through Monday. 25 events over the course of the days to make sure you get in tune with what we have going on. www.AtlantaPrideWeekend.com. You can follow us on Instagram, Atlanta Pride Weekend. Again, www.AtlantaPrideWeekend.com. We hope to see you.